Hi there. I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, don't let fear run the show. Fear is a survival mechanism. Fear is an important contributor to your daily well-being. Fear keeps you safe. Fear is an automatic, sometimes learned, sometimes instinctive, response to anything your subconscious thinks might harm you. Someone driving too fast, someone coming at you angrily, someone yelling at you. Because fear is automatic, it happens very fast. You don't sense yourself actively thinking, oh my gosh, that person is yelling at me. They may have it in for me in a big way. They may punch my lights out next, even though that is exactly what is happening inside of you. The thought happens so fast, you just know, I'm scared. Now, this is great when you're faced with imminent physical threat. After all, who wants to sit around and think about it for five minutes when a speeding car is about to ram you into Never Never Land? Fear in that type of situation is truly your friend. The problem is, fear doesn't necessarily do a good job of discriminating what genuinely is a threat to your well-being and what is simply mm, something unfamiliar. Fear, in its overriding desire to keep you safe, defines anything which is unfamiliar as threatening. And that is what keeps many of us from achieving the happiness and success we long for. Fear of the unfamiliar. For example, you hate your job. You thought you signed on for a creative, challenging career and instead find that all you do is shuffle papers and rehash the higher-ups' ideas. You're bored, angry, and frustrated. And this has been going on for, gosh, too long now. Your friends, family, and loved ones are all sick to death of hearing you complain about your job. Why don't you quit, they exclaim. And you come up with numerous good reasons why you don't quit, all of which could be summed up in two words. I'm scared. Scared of not really knowing what you want. Scared of knowing what you want and it being unobtainable. Scared of the state of the economy, hello pandemic. Scared of trading in a sure thing for an unsure thing. And the list goes on. But the bottom line is, you're scared of the unfamiliar. Fear is what makes you reason this way. Better I should stick with the lousy but familiar situation than risk venturing into an unfamiliar situation. Fear doesn't stop and think, gee, maybe this unfamiliar situation could be a good situation. That's not in fear's repertoire. Fear doesn't think things through. Fear simply responds in a very predictable, safety-oriented way. Thinking is your job. And that is the good news. You see, thinking is something we all can do. Well, okay, some better than others, no doubt, but everybody barring disastrous brain damage, can think. Thinking through your fear is what will let fear serve you as a valuable warning device without standing in the way of your success. Think for yourself. Don't let fear do your thinking for you. When you get scared and there's no immediate physical threat, ask yourself, what am I scared of here? And think your way through your fears. In the example given above, one of the fears was, I'm scared of not really knowing what I want. Okay, so ask yourself, how could I look at what I might want? What tools or resources do I have to help me look at what I might want? And others, okay, I'm scared that what I want to do is unobtainable. Well, that's understandable. So acknowledge that you're scared, but then think. How true is that? Is what I want truly unobtainable? How close can I get to what I want? Would that make me happy? What have other people done in similar circumstances? Who could I ask about this? The more you are willing to be aware of your fear, yet not let it stand in the way of your exploring unfamiliar territory, the better your chances of making that unfamiliar territory familiar, and thus no longer frightening. The scary thing in the closet is no longer scary once the lights are on and you can see what's in the closet. And if the thing in the closet is still frightening, at least now you can deal with the thing itself rather than just being overwhelmed by the fear. Make fear a servant, not a master. 
Don't let fear run the show. Use the wonderful gift of your mind and think your way past fear into the success you so richly deserve. Thank you for listening to Up and check out my new book, I Survived COVID-19, What Now? Finding Happiness and Success in a Post-COVID World. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, please visit my website, noelnelson.com, or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time, be well and take care.